Throughout the history of metalworking, knives have always been an important item. This was no less so in 12th century England, with knife production being carried out in different locations around the country. Over time, places like Sheffield, London and Salisbury will become well known for the quality of knives produced within their walls. Although today, knives are no longer seen as an essential everyday item, to those living in medieval England, they were of high value and importance. Almost every individual would carry their own personal knife, and that could be used for eating, crafting, or any manner of task. So valued were knives, that there were heavy penalties imposed for any knife thief, and quite often, eating knives were interred with their owner when they died. In Britain, the use of steel in the production of knives can be attested to from the 6th century BC. However, from the 12th century onwards, its use became more widespread. The most common composition for a knife blade during the medieval period was for the blade to be forged of iron with the steel cutting edge welded on. This way, a durable knife was made while keeping the quantity of expensive steel used to a minimum. Steel and iron was produced at different sites across the country by dedicated smelters. It could also be produced on a smaller scale by the blacksmiths themselves, who, once the iron had been smelted, could then forge the billets out and change them so they would have the desired properties for knife making. There were also iron making forges in some monasteries. Writing in the 8th century, the Venerable Bede describes how the monks accepted forging iron as a normal duty. During the medieval period, the forging of iron and steel was quite often seen as sorcery or magic. To the average person, at the time, the fact that a blacksmith could change the properties of metal by soaking it in a fire or by quenching it in water must have been awe-inspiring, if not a little scary. The belief in the magic of the blacksmith was so strong, in fact, that they believed he had healing powers and could cure you by acting out, hammering the illness from your body. Today, the belief in the magic of the blacksmiths has gone. However, there are still traditional blacksmiths working today, with some of them specialising as bladesmiths and cutlers. Being a knife maker in the 21st century, we do have the added benefit of technology. However, many of the processes have stayed the same. Instead of hand turning grindstones and pole lathes and press drills and augers, we have belt grinders, mechanical lathes and power drills. These are used to help speed up processes like shaping the blade, correcting any mistakes and polishing the blade, which otherwise, if done by hand, could take several hours. The quality of steel today is at such a high standard that blades no longer need to be made by layering iron and steel many times. Instead, this process, known as pattern welding, is largely done more for decorative purposes or for when recreating historic examples. The patterns created in the metal can be easily revealed by etching the blade with acid.
Perhaps the biggest difference between a bladesmith today and one from the 12th century is that back then they usually only had to forge the blade. This would then be passed on to a blade grinder or polisher who would then pass it along to the cutler who would make a handle and fit it to the blade. The cutler would usually purchase a sheath from the guild of sheath makers and then finally sell the knife on. For those who wish to make knives in the 21st century, quite often you will need to combine all of these skills into one, becoming proficient in each area. Although now relegated to the cutlery drawer, it is not hard to imagine one of the monks from Reading Abbey using a knife like this to eat his dinner 900 years ago. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing all of that and that it's hopefully given you an appreciation as to how important those items were uh, during the medieval period. That is all from us here at Big Bainan's Blacksmithing. I hope you enjoyed uh, all of our films um, and enjoy the rest of the festival. And hopefully we'll all be able to see each other uh, in the not too distant future. Thank you. <laughs>